Hey friends, welcome to the Plat X2 channel. My name is John. On this channel, we talk all things physical media, some movies, music, and books. If you're into that kind of thing, go ahead and subscribe down below for more that kind of content. Well, this is a pickups video, and it's from three different places. Uh, one is from a yard sale that I just recently went to this past weekend. Uh, the other one is from Goodwill, two different stops to the same Goodwill. And then the last one I have for you is actually a package that got sent to me by our friend, Mr. Nichols. And I knew he was sending me one title, but he sent me much more than that. And so I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. So friends, we got a lot to go through, so here we go. All right, so this is what I picked up at my local Goodwill from a couple of different visits. Uh, the first is a CD from a band that I really like. Uh, they're called Jet, and I really enjoy the first two albums. And this is their album, Shine On, and I found that. I uh, picked it up for $2. It's a great album. Uh, Shine On is a great song, uh, of course, the title track. But my favorite um, is actually the sixth uh, track, Hey Kids. There's the track listing. Really, really great album, so I highly recommend this one if you've never checked it out. Uh, next is uh, an, it's a film I don't have in my collection, and it was factory sealed. I did watch it the day I picked it up, uh, and it's a classic, goes back quite a ways, and it is starring Adam Sandler. This is from 1995, if my eyes are correct. 1995, and it is Billy Madison. And I picked this up and watched it the night before of the news of the passing of Norm MacDonald, um, which is, was just awful news. He, um, to me, just one of the funniest people ever, and he's featured in this film, a very funny role in this. Uh, but Norm uh, brought me so much laughter over so many years, and my, but my favorite moment from him, from Norm MacDonald, is actually when the David Letterman show was wrapping up, and he guested there, and he did uh, some stand-up for David, and uh, one of his jokes in there is, I think, the funniest joke he's ever told. Um, but the other part of it I loved was his humanity. You got to see his love and admir admiration for David Letterman, and it was such a sweet moment. So if you haven't watched that, check it out here on YouTube. Uh, beautiful, beautiful scene. But anyway, uh, Billy Madison, starring Adam Sandler, but featuring the great uh, Norm MacDonald. Picked that up to give that a watch. Hadn't seen it in a long time. Uh, then this one was one I had, uh, I, looked, I checked it out, and I had never seen it before, never heard of it, um, but really excited about it. And um, it's from an organization called Film Movement Presents. And I looked it up, and it's a really highly regarded film. And it's called The Colors of the Mountain. And this is a Spanish film with English subtitles. And it also has a, um, a short film on here as well. And it looks like it's um, a monthly thing that would get sent. It's a thing that you could uh, subscribe to. But um, highly regarded film. I can't wait to see it. Uh, the Colors of the Mountain. So if you've seen this film, please do let me know in the comments below uh, what you think of it. I'm really excited to check this one out. And then lastly from Goodwill, I picked this one up actually just yesterday. I saw a huge stack of Blu-rays at my local Goodwill. And so I was super pumped because they were tucked into the uh, VHS section. So I grabbed the whole stack and uh, pulled them out. They were all horror, and if you know me, I'm not really that into horror, because um, I'm too scared. Uh, but it had one title in there that I hadn't seen in a long time, and I had it a long time ago in the collection and traded it away, but I thought I would revisit it. I thought it was boring, but maybe it just hit me at the wrong time in life. I'll check it out, because it's, again, a really highly regarded film, and it uh, stars Amy Adams, Jeremy Renner, and Forrest Whitaker, and it is a rival. Uh, I know everybody loves this film. I struggled with it the first time I saw it, but I'm going to give it another go. But um, to find it for $2 at my local Goodwill, great, great deal. So that's what I found at my Goodwill recently. Uh, next, I'll show you what I picked up at a, um, a local yard sale. So this past weekend, I always, every weekend Friday, I check through the Facebook Marketplace to see what uh, yard sales are happening in my area. And early Saturday morning, uh, one got posted. And all of the pictures were of the, a couple of boxes of DVDs. And I didn't see any Blu-rays in there, so I was already not that super interested in it. Um, and then on top of it, though, was this John Wayne uh, DVD. And I'm not super into John Wayne. I have a few of his films, and I do like them, but not super into it. Um, but I thought, you know, maybe they have some older ones if they have John Wayne in there. Anyway, I ended up walking away with a killing. I found some awesome stuff. Uh, so anyway, here we go. This first one is from 1954, and it's uh, I'm trying to build out the filmography of this actor as much as I can. And it's Humphrey Bogart that stars in this, and it's We're No Angels. So I was really excited to find this one. Uh, this was one, I think I saw the spine when I saw the John Wayne uh, or DVD. I think I saw the spine of this too. Um, so anyway, it gave me some hope there might be some older films. We're No Angels. I've never seen it. Excited to check that out. It is a comedy. And uh, so anyway, pumped to check it out. Uh, next one, I found a couple of Cary Grant films, which I was also really excited to find. This one is, I think, 1949. I need glasses. 1949. Uh, this stars again Cary Grant and Anne Sheridan in a Howard Hawks film. I was a male war bride. 
So looking forward to checking this one out. Have never seen that one, did not have it in the collection. Uh, this is one that I also did not have in the collection. This one is from 1952. And again, starring Cary Grant, it also stars uh, Charles, Charles Coburn and Marilyn Monroe. And it's a Howard Hawks film again. And it is the movie Monkey Business. So looking forward to checking this one out. Uh, I'm trying to build up my Cary Grant uh, filmography as well. Quite a few of his films. But glad to find that one. Uh, this is one that has a... Let me see if the other ones do. No, they don't. Uh, this is one that does have a Criterion release. Um, but Criterion releases, uh, they're a little pricey. And um, one day... Hopefully I will have it on Criterion, but for now I'm just really excited to have it in the collection so I can actually watch this film. And this one is from 1934. It stars Clark Gable and one of my favorites, Claudette Colbert. And it is It Happened One Night. And I love the uh, cover work on this one. Um, but it does have a, a Criterion release and one day I will pick that up. But for now I get to have it in the library and get to watch it. And these were all, by the way, uh, 250. So. For yard sale prices, usually DVD is like 50 cents or a dollar, um, but these are all films I really wanted in the collection, so I was okay to pay two for five. They were originally three dollars each or two for five, but anyway, it happened one night. Really excited to have that in the collection. Uh, this one also, I think, I think, I don't know if there's multiple versions of this or not. This one may have a Criterion release as well, but I believe there's a couple versions, and I can't read the date on this one because I need glasses. Anyway, this one is a Vault Universal Vault series, which are also really great to find these every once in a while. And it is My Man Godfrey. Didn't have this in the collection. Excited to check this one out. Older film. Uh, then the next two are Warner Archive films. And to find two Warner Archives was exciting as well. And let me line these up. So both of these are Jack Benny films. And this one is from 1942 starring uh, Aaron Sheridan, and it is George Washington Slept Here. Uh, Warner Archive for $2.50, well worth it. Uh, and then another Jack Benny film, uh, starring, also starring Alexis Smith. This one is from 1945, and it is The Horn Blows at Midnight, another Warner Archive film. Excited to check these out. I don't have any uh, Jack Benny in my collection, so to pick up two uh, to check out was a lot of fun. And then last from the yard sale, I picked up a Criterion release, and it is an older Criterion release, so I know this does have a Blu-ray release. Maybe someday I'll pick that up, but to have it in the collection, it's worth it to pick it up uh, for $250 especially. Uh, this one does come with, the, the disc was mint, it does come with the booklet as well. And this is from 1940, uh, it's goofy font. It's either 1941 or 1947, uh, starring Barbara Stanwyck and Henry Fonda. Criterion Collection, spine number 103, The Lady Eve, Preston Sturgis film. So, really excited to check this out. I've never seen it and didn't have it in the collection. And if I enjoy it, then maybe one day I'll pick this one up on Blu-ray, but excited to pick this one up. And then last for my pickups for this haul video, uh, my friend, Mr. Nichols, if you haven't checked out his channel before, uh, you need to. His channel's blowing up, just past a thousand recently. So all the details for his Instagram and YouTube will all be in the description below. Please do, if you don't already follow him, please do subscribe to his channel, follow him on Instagram. Really cool guy, his Sunday swap videos. I literally every Sunday wake up so pumped to watch those. And at the same time, super jealous of all the stuff he finds because he finds cool stuff. But he sends some stuff my way. He's a great guy, super kind and generous. And this was just a really thoughtful uh, package he sent my way. I knew one of these films was coming, and that's all I knew. And this is the one I knew was coming. Didn't have it in the collection. Haven't seen it in so long, but really wanted it um, to see it and add to the collection because I remember just really enjoying it. And it is starring Jim Carrey, and it is The Truman Show. Um, really cool film, thoughtful film, uh, smart film, and it's Jim Carrey, so you know there's some great humor in there as well. But anyway, uh, really excited to have this one in the collection for the very first time. And then all of the rest of these I did not know he was sending my way. Uh, the first one is a film that I do love. It's a great, great film, starring Black, uh, Jack Black, most deaf, and it is Be Kind, Rewind. It's just, it's so good. If you don't have this film, you need to have this film in your collection, especially if you're a film collector. This is so, so good. Highly, highly recommend this one, Be Kind, Rewind. Uh, this is a film that I have not seen, and he had mentioned it uh, when we did uh, the five episode together. And I'll also, if I remember, I'll link that below as well. Uh, I got to have a conversation with Mr. Nichols, which was a lot of fun. And he recommended this movie starring Angelina Jolie. Uh, John Malkovich is a Clint Eastwood film, and it is Changeling. I have not seen this one, and we were talking, and I said I'd never seen it. Anyway, he uh, found it and sent it my way, which is really cool. Really excited to check that one out. 
And then this one is not from the conversation he and I had, but a conversation uh, Joe Martinez and I had, and uh, also uh, the five conversation. And I'd said I'd never seen this film, and but really did want to check this one out. Uh, and if I ever come across it, I will pick it up. Well, Mr. Nichols came across uh, this one and sent it my way. Uh, this one, uh, 1965, and it is The Sound of Music. So anyway, uh, Joe, you got to be pretty pumped about this find, uh, this uh, gift that was sent to me uh, that I get to finally see this film, The Sound of Music, which uh, Joe Martinez speaks so highly of, his favorite film of all time. I finally get to see this one. So excited to watch that. And then the last film he sent me is on the other end of the spectrum. And I can't say I'm excited. I promise to watch it and I will do a reaction video. I can't say I'm excited but I will watch it. And not only will Mr. Nichols enjoy that, but I know Stephanie Movie Chatter will also find joy uh, in my terror to see this film. Anyway, many of you have seen it, and many of you, when you see the title of this film, you're gonna think, John, you're a big baby. And that's true, I am. This film is from 1978, and it is coming up on that season, friends. This is John Carpenter's Halloween. I have not seen this film. I have seen very little in the way of horror. Um, never seen this one. I will watch this one, I promise to watch it. I will watch it, and I will do a reaction video on this one. Mr. Nichols, I wanna say thank you for this one, but I'm not sure yet. Maybe after I see it, I'll decide whether or not to say thank you or not. But for the others, thank you so, so much. This I know will bring you joy that I watch this one. So anyway, Mr. Nichols, thank you very much. Friends, if you're watching this, Please do follow Mr. Nichols on Instagram. Subscribe to him here on YouTube. Really cool channel. Really, really awesome, awesome guy. Really thoughtful, cool guy. And uh, I'll put all that info below. He and I, our conversation on the five, I'll put that below as well so you can get to know him a little bit better. But please do. He's a guy definitely worth following and checking out his content. Friends, so that's what I picked up recently. Um, Goodwill. A great yard sale and an awesome, amazing, thoughtful gift from Mr. Nichols. So thank you so much for checking out this video. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for taking the time to do so. We are pushing about 600 subscribers, which I'm really excited about. I've been still working on the 500 subscriber gift. Um, so anyway, it looks like we'll do a combo five, 600 thing. Anyway, thank you so much. If you like this video, please do hit like, subscribe if you do want more of this kind of content. But again, just thanks so much for checking out this video. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourself. We'll see you next time. Yeah.